I was really impressed with myself on this day because I actually got to sleep in. I slept until about 6 a.m. Wisconsin time, so that's 7 Florida. And the rest of my family absolutely took advantage of our vacation hours and slept in as well. So I got to sneak down to the gym, which was actually very well put together. It's so rare to go on vacation and have a gym that has everything that you need. But I was very much able to work with what was provided in order to get this lower body workout done for the day. I was able to get at least three exercises a piece for each of the glutes, hammies, and quadriceps. And I even got some stretching in at the end. I love all of the intrinsic energy that being on vacation provides for you. Just being away from home and being in the fresh air is so rejuvenating. I probably could have spent the whole day in here, but I ran back upstairs after about two hours to get my family gathered to get outside by the beach. You guys, I'm sorry for the weird angles I got in this gym because I actually forgot to bring my tripod down this day. Here's Ayana's Ezekiel bread, some all natural peanut butter with some jam, as well as her cashews and raisins. She already had an apple and some oranges. Are you excited? <laughs> Here, honey, want to see a trick? Make a sandwich. Remember? I try to be very judicious about the different types of processed foods I allow into my child's diet. This Ezekiel bread is probably as far as I would go along with the jam that's slightly sweetened. But everything that I use in her food is very well researched and I make sure that I keep as many preservatives and junk out of there as possible. I also realized that some of these items were not in my grocery haul in the first portion of this two-part video series. So you definitely wanna check out the first video. But Justin, being the wonderful daddy that he is, ran out and got us some peanut butter, some jelly, and a ton of fresh greens for myself along with his breakfast items. Yummy. I spent a fortune on mixed greens during this vacation. I could not get enough salad. It was literally like my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's so easy to eat healthy in warm weather. It's pretty windy today, but we're gonna try to get out there soon. It's just gorgeous. I started a fresh batch of beans that I had soaking in the fridge overnight in the pressure cooker before I actually went down to the gym this morning. It's always a great idea to have a variety of starch-based items prepped and ready to go. Here's some navy beans, because we've already started running out of the black ones. And I like to alternate. So here's the finished product. And to store these, all I do is put some paper towel over the top of them. And they store just fine especially when you're eating them within a day or two. I put these on top of my salads, in Ayana's dishes, as well as Justin's, any kind of Instant Pot recipe, you just toss them right in there. And there's your plant-based protein. I'm just gonna prep some of these sweet potatoes for later. So I'm gonna use this handy dandy, uh, I don't even know what that's called to be honest. <laughs> you just put it in the bottom to make sure it doesn't burn. And then you want, excuse the mess, I still have to do dishes. Just a cup of water in the bottom. Then we're gonna throw in our sweet potatoes. Instant Pot. Make sure the pressure valve is all the way up. And for whole sweet potatoes, these are going to need to cook a little longer. So I'm thinking, let's try nine minutes and see how that works. So we're just going to press pressure cook. Nine. Let's do ten. Without the keep warm. That might overcook them. 
All right, so now we'll have sweet potatoes for dinner. Gotta get used to it, honey. Finally, around 10 o'clock Wisconsin time, 11 o'clock Florida time, I was able to break my fast after all the meal prepping and the filming and finally taking a shower. I love to eat raw vegetables first thing um, when I break my fast because it is just a weird preference of mine, but it also makes my body just feel wonderful. And every day when I was in Florida, all I wanted to do after my raw vegetables was a giant salad, especially after this lower body day. It was no exception. I had plenty of sweet potatoes and beans on top of this salad. If you're new to my channel, I am a big advocate of time-restricted eating. I typically eat between 9 a.m. in the morning to 3 p.m. in the afternoon for all the wonderful health benefits, but a TRE is very difficult to follow in another time zone, let alone on vacation, but I did my best. So I've actually been able to stuff everything in this fridge that I need to. Just being very strategic. So. These cups and bowls are things like oatmeal and beans and sweet potatoes and leftover rice from last night. And they have lots of greens, fresh veggies, the fruit for the oatmeal, and lots of water. And Justin's juice. And Justin's soda. You're so silly. The sand feels neat though, huh? Don't judge me, but yes, I ate another salad before going out to dinner with my family and an old friend that happens to live in Fort Myers Beach area. My strategy is always to eat a starchy meal before going to any restaurant because I'm inevitably going to be tempted otherwise. But also, I honestly didn't anticipate eating at this restaurant because I don't eat past my 3 p.m. window usually. But I consider it indulging and splurging a little bit on vacation when I do go past my TRE. So even though I suffered for it greatly the next morning with indigestion and fatigue, I went ahead and had some sushi, my very favorite vegan veggie sushi. That's on your Facebook page. Okay, I will go ask. That's what you should check for the cookie. Alright, thanks. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Is it a red lotus thing you're okay? You know those evenings after you strength train when you are absolutely ravenous regardless of how much food you eat? That was definitely one of those days. We also spent a lot of time walking up and down the beach and up and down the steps because our toddler wanted to go outside, then she wanted to go inside, then she wanted to go outside, and you know how that goes. But I have to be particularly careful at restaurants because I have to eat gluten-free for my celiac condition. So I was able, thank goodness, to get a safe meal for myself and my daughter, which she hated, <laughs> but it was delicious. 
Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Ethnic restaurants are always my go-to for SOS-free vegan eating because they most likely do not contain those elements or you're able to get something without those items. Oh my goodness, just is like out of my food. Right, didn't pay attention to my boyfriend Justin is so wonderful, even though he eats completely opposite of our daughter and I based solely on my request. He is extremely fastidious when it comes to what goes on or off her plate, and I can't imagine how difficult that must be. But we are very fortunate for him. Yes, I am ridiculously sunburned, but it was so worth it. <laughs> we spent the entire day on the beach the day prior, and being from Wisconsin, I burn quite easily. Between my skin and that feeling in my gut of all the sushi I ate the night before that's probably still sitting in there, <laughs> this workout was a rough one. Justin and I tossed and turned all night after eating that huge meal right before bed. But that was not gonna keep me from starting my day off right and getting a good workout. So since I did lower body yesterday, today I focused on my upper body and my core. I made sure to incorporate all those major muscle groups, chest, upper back, lower back, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and then my core. I probably spent way too much time in here again, but honestly, it's so fun to play around in a new gym where you're not familiar with the equipment or the layout, because after you work out so many times in the same environment, it's like you have your go-tos and you forget about certain exercises or certain muscle groups or a certain way to work those muscle groups. So this was just another very big breath of fresh air. This whole vacation was just fantastic. my workout I grabbed my baby girl and ran back to Publix. It was about maybe two miles from our hotel. So I was able to get some more greens as well as plenty of snacks for my daughter for the plane and some more fruit for myself. I regretfully forgot to film this trip however because my daughter was very much in my ear this morning. <laughs> We promised Diana that we would get her on a boat while we were in Florida. So my friend told us about this uh, pirate ship cruise that was totally geared towards children and it was a really good time.
I told you I could not get enough of these salads while I was on vacation, especially with a little bit of fruit and sweet potato in there. Mm. I took one last walk on the beach before I had to start packing up to get ready for our early flight. The end of vacation is always so bittersweet. You kind of want to go home, but you kind of want to never go home. <laughs> Sweetness could reach everyone. There'd be no wars. Mm 